Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this webinar today, um, which is a question and answer session for the open call for ARDC storage and compute projects. My name's Jerry Ryder. I work with the Australian Research Data Commons and I'm based in Adelaide. <coughs> So without any further ado, I will hand over to uh, Paul Coddington, who's Associate Director of Research Cloud and Storage for the Australian Research Data Commons. <coughs> over to you, Paul. Uh, thanks, Jerry. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming along to this uh, webinar. I'll, j I'll just give a very brief sort of uh, overview and context around the uh, discovery projects and then basically the rest of the time we'll be answering questions. So uh, first of all I'm representing Ian Duncan who's the director of the, the storage and compute infrastructure component of uh, ARDC. Uh, he's unable to make it today, he's on leave. Um, so I'll be doing the presentation and answering the questions as best I can. Um, so a little bit of context, I, I think hopefully most of you will know this but uh, ARDC is a relatively new organisation. We were brought together um, essentially in the 1st of July last year uh, from uh, existing organisations, ANS, Nectar and RDS. Um, and so much of the work that's been done so far is, is to try to is carry on the existing services that, that those organisations were providing but also to try to uh, come up with a, a sort of plan and a strategy and a plan for the, this new entity for what we would be doing in the future. So part of that for the storage and compute component uh, in particular uh, also encompasses a, uh, a capital planning exercise. We received or ARDC received a total of $70 million uh, of, of capital funding in the um, last year and we need to uh, come up with a plan for what, what, we, what we do with that. So, so as part of that uh, overall ARDC planning and particular planning around the um, uh, capital investment. Um, the view was that ARDC wanted to uh, understand some or answer some questions or understand a few things a bit better before we finalised our capital planning. So one of the motivations for the discovery program was essentially here is some here's some information and some or here's some questions that we want more information and some answers to. Uh, and we'd like the sector to help us with providing that that information and those answers to the questions as uh, to help inform our capital plan and our planning going forward. So uh, you may be aware there are two different um, areas. There's the data and services um, stream which was announced uh, a bit earlier and then uh, the storage and compute one which I'll be talking about today. There was a webinar about the data and services one last week I believe. So um, those two are quite different. So the data and services one has uh, a number of fairly high level questions that we're looking to find out more about and projects that can be pitched for those uh, essentially can address multiple questions. Uh, so essentially it's up to the, to the proponents to come up with a proposal that can somehow address some of those questions or many of those questions. There can be multiple projects answering a single question, there can be multiple questions answered by a single project and there's a fairly large number of projects um, that could be funded. So the ones here are, are, are quite different to that. We have basically 11 fairly specific questions about fairly, fairly specific topics and we just want to pick one, one project proposal uh, to address each one of those questions. So, so the, uh, the so it's a it's a bit different process than the than the other one. Um, hopefully, you've you've seen the uh, the document that outlines uh, the questions and a bit of the context, um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say, I guess. 